Hello. So I'm going to talk about IPFS and geeks. Um, so first of all, uh, what is IPFS good at? Um, well, um, it's pretty good at uh, giving, ac giving us access to data, any kind of data, right? It strives to enhance access to knowledge in general. And that's very important. Um, but what about generated data? Um, what about a source when it's being compiled into binary? What about this binary, right? When you get it over IPFS, when you get a Docker image, what's inside of it? How can you trust it? And that's difficult, actually. And that's where uh, Geeks come in, comes in. So, um, oh. Uh -huh. How does it work? All right, cool. Yeah, so uh, in short, uh, Gix is a functional package manager. So if you've heard of Nix, it's quite similar. Uh, functional package manager means that for uh, the same input uh, taken twice, it will produce the same output bit per bit. So from the source, the same resulting binary. Uh, reproducibly. So Gix really uh, um, tries to focus focuses actually on reproducibility and bootstrapability, which means that it really tries hard to uh, give us full transparency over the, um, the complete graph of software um, ever. And that's pretty amazing, right? So uh, then, um, oh, oh, I went a bit fast here. That sorry. Uh, but compiling a program is not always pleasant. You know, it takes time. It takes a lot of computing resources. So usually what you do on a many distribution is you would get the pre-compiled binary. Um, so that's very convenient. That's what a lot of people do. So it's very important. So we, we actually distribute those binaries uh, with Geeks as well. We call them substitutes. And we store them uh, in the Geek store, which is the location on the file system. Um, so, so far, so good. The problem is that. Uh, this distribution is, um, well, the traditional way. You go with like HTTP servers, and uh, it's not always uh, fast. Depends where you, in which part of the world you are. Uh, it's very demanding on the infrastructure. So uh, recently, in 2019, we started using CDNs, Content Delivery Networks. And well, that, that helps a lot, right? But still, it's still a lot of problems, right? And after all, we, uh, we are at an IPFS conference. So hey, uh, why not using IPFS for that? So it makes a lot of sense. Um, and that's where we decide to um, try uh, leveraging IPFS in Geeks to distribute the packages. Uh, that would be fantastic. And I think, honestly, uh, it makes a lot of sense. And the two projects would benefit from one another. On the one hand, uh, IPFS can distribute the packages for, um, for Geeks, but also the source. That's quite important. Because uh, it's a functional package management, which means that we only get to trust the software if we have the complete graph, bootstrapable graph of all software. And if a link is missing, if a source is missing, we, we, we lack this trust, right? Uh, it, it's all moot. So if, uh, IPFS could really help with saving the source, I think. Now, um, on the other hand, Geeks could also have IPFS doing what uh, IPFS doesn't really do, which is bring transparency to generate the data. And that's really where, where Geeks uh, stands really strong. So I think the two projects together could go really far. Uh, now, what can we do now? Um, first of all, the first thing we can do is uh, start di uh, di distributing packages for Geeks of IPFS, as I mentioned. So for instance, uh, Alice compares a package. Uh, she's the first one to compile it ever. And the second she's done with it, Bob uh, wants to install the package uh, as well. Well, instead of compiling it himself, he can get it directly from Alice. And that will only cost the time of the network transaction. Oh, pretty neat, right? So that's peer-to-peer -peer package distribution, basically. Um, if we go a little bit deeper, uh, we could start thinking, like, like dreaming deep, and, and start thinking, uh, what about uh, you know, like I mentioned this Geek Store where you store all your uh, the, the result of your computations of the, of the packages. What about getting rid of this and only using IPFS 
uh, to store the, like a sort of a worldly universal gig store, and installing a program would basically amount to just pinning it. That would be quite convenient and simple. Now, quick. Um, now, if we go even deeper, uh, what is a uh, package uh, compilation, basically? It's just a special case of a computation, isn't it? So we could start thinking, uh, what about um, storing the computation uh, of everything? Uh, scientific, think like uh, scientific calculus, like you, you want to run a very deep, very intensive scientific uh, program that you got to run for like a few days. Uh, what if someone else on the other side of the planet wants to run it the same thing with the same input? Well, you could actually just fetch a result from the other person who had already computed it. And in many ways, Geeks enables you to do that. You can actually do it with everything, with every computation. It's very universal in many ways. And I'll finish with um, the two things that really um, stuck with me when I looked at the roadmap for IPFS. Um, two items there. One is a package manager. Another one is an OS. And I really would like to believe that Geeks could fulfill those two goals. Thank you very much.